First, though, we're following breaking news out of Orange County. So glad you're with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Matt Austin. FHP troopers are now investigating a crash involving a daycare van. Sky 6 live over the wreck right now. This is happening at South Alafaya Trail and Avalon Park Boulevard. Right now, we know Fire Rescue says there are six patients involved in this. And you can see how badly that car in the middle there, that mm. almost looks like it was in a compactor. So they were there to rescue. Four of them are kids. News Six's Brian Didlake is at the scene right now. Brian, you're hearing from troopers tonight. Uh, Matt Ginger, troopers here are saying what we're seeing here on scene that, that this is truly a bad crash. And looking over behind me, this daycare van is currently trying to be put onto a tow truck, but it's still wedged between that Mercedes that we're seeing here on scene. And when they were trying to pull it, you can really hear uh, how badly this was. Uh, this Mercedes was inside of the daycare van because it was a, a loud crunching sound that was um, that was heard from everyone uh, when we were looking at them trying to put this into a, onto a tow truck. Now we are all, we are off of Alafaya Trail and Innovation Way. Florida Highway Patrol says that two adults and four children have been taken to the hospital. One of the vehicles ended up hitting a daycare van from Kids Are Kids. Now we are told that there that there were three kids inside that van, but none were injured. Troopers say all of this happened because witnesses say one car was trying to avoid another. She observed the other vehicle, the one that caused the accident, coming in at a faster speed. She tried to go right to avoid a collision, and when she went right, she was still clipped by the other vehicle. The other vehicle tra continued traveling southbound, struck the uh, Mercedes, and the Mercedes in turn went forward, struck the, uh, the school bus. Now, right now, traffic is delayed in this area for quite some time. So if anyone is planning on coming out this way, deputies ask that you find another route. And of course, we're going to continue to stay on this story and bring you any developments that we hear. And we'll get back to you as soon as we hear from that on air and online. But for now, we are live in Orange County. Brian Dillett getting results. News 6. Brian, thank you. Now let's take a look.